Hey everybody, I'm Zoe with Tacticam Reveal and it's Tuesday and that means it is Tactitip Tuesday. I have been seeing so many posts centered around batteries. Battery types, what to choose, why to choose them, people's opinions. I'm going to answer any questions I can. Please feel free to comment and we are more than happy to help you. This video is solely going to be on batteries and we will do another video kind of branching into settings and what settings may work best for certain situations but right now we're just going to stick to batteries just know that certain settings things along those lines will affect battery life as well and we'll hit that in another video your camera will come with a standard battery tray that can hold alkaline or lithium batteries Typically, I feel like most people would just grab a pack of alkaline batteries and throw them in the camera. That's fine, no worries. Alkaline batteries in good weather, I'm talking like weather we're having now, anything above like 32 degrees, you're gonna get about 2,000 to 2,500 pictures depending on settings. Now, this is a good amount of photos um, depending on how active your area is. If you have your camera on an active food plot over corn on a feeder, I would not recommend using alkaline batteries. It's gonna probably take way too many and you're going to keep having to buy alkaline batteries to replace. The second option is the lithium packs. We do offer these on the website. These are my go-to. Absolutely love them, have them in all my cameras. The first year I used alkaline and then this year I've switched over to lithiums and I am so happy I did. On average, you're gonna get about 4,000 to 4,500 pictures with your lithium packs. The trick is, is you need to charge these lithium packs for about three hours or really until the red light turns off before deploying them in your camera and out into the woods. Super, super important. Otherwise, you're not gonna get the results that you're wanting. These lithium packs will literally save you money in the long run from having to constantly go out and buy alkaline batteries, but highly recommend the lithium packs. Also a pro tip, buy two. Have one charged, one in the camera. That way when your lithium pack does die, you can go out to the camera, swap it out with another lithium pack, get out of the woods and you are good to go. The last option is our solar panel. Like the lithium packs, you do need to charge the solar panel before putting it out into the woods as well. The trick with the solar panel is you want to have it on a very open field, somewhere where it's getting a lot of direct sunlight. Where I hunt, I really mainly have my cameras out in the woods. So I don't use the solar panel often just because the lithium packs better suit my needs. But if you have an open field where you're putting your camera, solar panel is a great, great option. As long as your solar panel is getting enough sunlight and in that direct sun, we'll get plenty of pictures. We do recommend that you run an extra set of batteries in your camera just in case anything would come in contact with the cable and the camera, making that connection fail between the cable. I would suggest running a lithium pack or just throwing in some alkalines. Anything can happen with these cameras out in the woods. So definitely safer to run a backup set of batteries, but not necessary. Please send us a message on the website, on Facebook, anywhere to get assistance or help with your cameras. Settings play a really big role in your battery type. Signal also really affects battery type as well. So there's so many different things that can cause batteries to last longer or less time. So if you need assistance, you want extra help, please send us a message and we're here to help. Follow up next week and I will do a video all over our settings. Thanks guys and as always, happy hunting.